hello and welcome back to my channel this is the second part of a regular expression uh, series and in the previous one we talked about the regular expressions the benefits how to validate the text and we talked about some examples like the zip code and the address so in this video we'll validate phone number and let's do this together so here we'll see if this number is a valid number or not let's say it's eight nine one two three four and and this is the phone number this is a random number and here we have the match method to match the string to a regular expression and now this is where we have to write the regular expression as a string enclosed by the double quotation and here as you can see that we have a number of three parts the first part is three digits second part three and the last one is four digits you see that so and separated by the hyphen so we'll do this but remember that the first part has no zero in, in front of it or in other words the first half will not start with zero so that's why i will say it's one two nine we can do the digit the d symbol as we did in the previous lesson but you know the digit will include zero to nine if we don't want to include the zero so that's is zero to nine and then we will have some digits and these are of number two so in this case i am saying that the number is starting by any digits from one and then followed by two digits and only two so the total is three digits here next i have a hyphen and we'll do the same thing here digits and here we have just three digits and only three okay so we can have zeros in front of it next hyphen and then digits and here we have the last part which is four okay and here four digits so let's match this and let's run and we'll see this is a valid this is a true number let's say that i started with zero here and run look at this it's false it's recognizing that the number is incorrect so we can put more constraints more things to do i am not accepting zero in the first half so i can accept anything else see that uh, and let's say that here i have four digits instead of three it will tell you it's false because we specify that this is only three digits you see that so it's limiting the numbers and validating instead of going to the long way by using if statement and validating each character in the string that will take a lot of time here we have this option by using the regular expressions as you can see here now uh, sometimes you know uh, the hyphens are not included so uh, it will be written like this you see that if we write the code like this this regular expression will not accept it so how to make a regular expression that is accepting both scenarios with hyphen and without so i'll introduce you to another uh, symbol in uh, the regular expression of java and which is the question mark the question mark represent zero or one here we have zero or one of these hyphens okay so either one or nothing and we'll do the same for here the hyphen is zero or one so let's run you see that it's true now you see we we have no hyphens but zero it's giving you true and here let's uh, add the hyphens again and look at this true so this is the new symbol that i want to introduce to you that i introduced you to right get you want more examples yes sure let's do one more uh, example and here let's do 
let's validate a variable name. Let's say a variable name in Java uh, should be um, validated. So I will do this. I have a variable name sum. Is the sum is a good variable name or not? So I will match it with a regular expression. So the regular expression here, as you know, the variables in Java must start with a character or underscore. The digits are not acceptable here, right? So I will use a new symbol, which is this, the cap here, that is telling starts with the starting of the line is a character from A to Z or upper letter A to Z or underscore or even you can add uh, this dollar sign if you want okay so these are acceptable starting point and then enclose this and then followed by any uh, letters uh, a to z upper and lower letters underscore dollar sign z digits and so on right so here is the thing so i have the star to represent uh, zero or more of these things so the variable can be one character can be one or more characters okay so and we can add the dollar sign that represent the end of the line can be any of these things okay so let's do without now and let's run and here is the thing sum Okay, just we had an extra bracket, so move it to the end here. And now we can test it, it's true, it's correct. Is that? It's true. So we have starting with uh, any of these characters and then followed by any of these one or more. So let's say that we have just one character, it's still true. Character and a digit, it's true okay underscore true dollar sign hashtag false you see that it's not inclu included in the list okay let's start with a hyphen at the beginning and we can say that this is true as well how about the a digit four it's false you see that it's false so these are the things and here we validated a variable name good now next can you answer this question for me i want to accept input that has just three letters in it from the user so pause write your answer and come back to this okay one two three so here is the thing i will write uh, any three letters let's say a b c and then matches and here the regular expression check if this is the same as your answer or not a to z okay and here just three digits no more no less you see that so let's see this one a to z this is true you see that now if you want here is specifying just three if you want three or more you can say three comma that means three or more you see that three or more so you can have uh here another character that's still true you see that so you can set the three or you can say one two three if you want and it, or you can say just three to make it exactly the same 
you see that so these are some of the examples so these are some uh, examples about our regular expressions in Java and in uh, this next video we'll talk more about other options and other uh, regular expressions and uh, we'll talk about validating uh, birthday uh, email address uh, and more so stay tuned and keep your eyes on my channel to watch the next video thank you and see you next time. Goodbye.